Yilin is a town of six million, not far from China's southern border of Vietnam. We arrived the day before summer solstice, and everyone was getting ready to celebrate by killing some dogs. So outside of the selective cows, pigs, chickens, turkeys, goats, fishes, horses, and whatever else animals that humans are eating these days in America, outside of those selective animals, unfortunately, there are other animals that are being subjected to slaughter. Big, big thank you for all of the brave people that decided to speak out about this issue. Everyone from Timothy V. What's going on, people? to Izzy Davis. Quickly do some coverage on the Yulin Dog Meat Eating Festival. Andres Remis Plant Based Vegan. There is a festival going on right now in China. The Yulin Dog Eating Festival. Daisy Cypress Tulip Garden. It's very difficult not to get mad and not to be outraged and not to be worried, you know. I'm worried sick about the animals. So speaking of Izzy Davis, she uploaded a video on this topic and she actually had a question. She wasn't sure if the animals that were being used in the Yulin Dog Festival were actually dogs that has been stolen away from their homes, abducted, and brought to the slaughterhouses. I've, I've been reading a lot of things too. I don't know if this is true. It's something that I've read a couple times, but who knows if it's actually true, um, that they are stealing the dogs from people's homes to use for this festival so they're they're going in and they're taking people's pets unfortunately girl yes it's true i've seen it and it's horrible take a look at this but like if the dog is like in the front of the house or in the front porch like they will if they see them they will take them especially in the Chinese villages. There is actually laws in China where people aren't supposed to be doing that, but since the villages are kind of separated, like people get away with doing more stuff there because the, I don't know, it's just like some type of weird separation. I'm not sure. Unfortunately, I have seen footage of this and it is true. what I would do to be honest if that was me and somebody took my dog I would I'm not a violent person naturally but I think I will kill someone I don't think I will kill someone I will kill someone you take my dog I don't know what I would just go crazy like what that's some that's crazy so I know a lot of you guys aren't exactly familiar on how China treats animals. I mean, we all know that China doesn't exactly treat their animals nice, and we all have an idea of that, and yes, it's true. They don't treat their animals very nicely. But I think your perception of what's going on is minimalized. I want to broaden your imagination, and it's actually quite shocking. But this is just to give you an idea. China. Facts. China's dogs and cats are boiled, stabbed, drowned, bludgeoned, strangled, poisoned, hanged, and electrocuted, experiencing unbearable pain as their legs are routinely broken while trussled up and hung in local markets for human consumption, or skinned alive and cast off like garbage for the despicable fur trade. Dogs, both owned and stray, are relentlessly hunted down by police authorized roving mobs and savagely beaten to death by the hundreds of thousands in the name of rabies control that's the excuse now getting into other animals 
Bears suffer a lifetime of excruciating pain as they are surgically mutilated and milked each day for their gold bile. Their paws are taken as delicacies for Chinese restaurant trade or ground into powdered medicines. The use of bear parts supplying the traditional Chinese medicine trade and exotic meat market is the major reason why bear species are declining around the world. Endangered species of bears are fast becoming extinct. Rhinos, both black and white, are butchered for their horns and are now highly endangered. Over 70 to 100 million sharks per year are finned and their carcasses are dumped right back into the sea to accommodate Chinese growing taste for shark fin soup. 20 million turtles are devoured in China each year, slaughtered alive and fully conscious. Their heads are decapitated and crushed. Even after a turtle's head is detached from its body, if not crushed properly, destroying the brain, it can survive up to one hour in agonizing torment. Two-thirds of the world's turtles are now threatened with extinction. Tons of elephant tusks are carved into ivory trickets. Their feet hacked off for stools and coffee table legs. Animals are used in dry ingredients in traditional Chinese medicines and are killed in the billions. Tiger parts, crocodile bile, deer musk, seahorses, lizards, sea cucumbers, powdered antlers, dog penises, pangolian, aka scaly anteaters, and only to name a few on the seemingly unending list. All are considered no more than products to be abused and murdered in the most monstrous ways possible, even if it means permanently wiping out many of the species from the face of the planet in order to fulfill frivolous, antiquated, and selfish needs. China's role in the single largest mass butchery of marine mammals on the earth, the annual Canadian sea slaughter, which has taken over 1.25 million innocent lives in the past three years alone, happens in part so that dried seal penises can be turned into aphrodisiacs to theoretically increase the libidos or libidoses of elderly men engaging in sex with Asian girls as young as seven years old. Bitch, you doing the most. It also says live domestic pets as well as cows and chickens are fed to lions and tigers for the entertainment of visitors at Chinese zoos. China zoos officials encourage guests to buy domestic animals on the premise to feed them to the carnivorous through special venting flaps fitted onto tourist buses allowing individuals to throw chickens and other fully conscious, fully live animals to the awaiting predators. A Chinese chef described how to cook pangolian, an endangered scaly anteater. He says, quote, we keep them alive in cages until the customer makes an order. Then we hammer them unconscious, cut their throats and drain their blood. It is a slow death. We then boil them to remove the scales cut the meat into small pieces. Usually the customers take the blood home with them afterwards. A gourmet can buy monkeys in the marketplace and send them to inns for cooking. Live monkey brains are considered a delicacy. The cooks first stuff the monkeys into tiny cages and force them to drink white rice wine until they are intoxicated. They are then pulled from their cages and bound by their limbs, preventing movement. Their skulls are hacked open with a sharp knife to reveal easily visible pulsing blood vessels. The white brains are then scooped out and served as soon as possible, eaten when still warm with seasoning. Keep in mind, monkey brains become pungent if they are not fresh, if the skull was open for too long. Thus, it is best to open the skull and eat it at once, while the brain cells are living and the blood vessels are throbbing. It is not unusual in many cases of China to see live deer in pens or crocodiles in tanks at restaurants. Buying and eating rare animals is a common way of showing off. In southern China, rare meat is known as yiwi, I think that's yiwi, which actually means wild taste. And people believe eating exotic animals can endow them with bravery, long life, and sexual prowess. And you might want to listen to this. The Cantonese brag that the Chinese will eat anything that moves.
and anything is in full caps. Now clearly we're facing a lot of animal abuse and the uh, Yuling China's Dog Meat Festival that's been going on is really upsetting a lot of people. My personal opinion, well first thing, I don't want this video to stir up any racism towards China because first of all, again, I don't see how what they're doing is any worse than what we're doing. Except for the fact that I don't agree that people should be stealing other people's dogs. First of all, I don't agree with the whole thing in general. I don't agree with the whole process of taking someone's life and slaughtering them. It's horrible and it's really terrible what they do, but I still don't see how we're any better because we do a lot of crazy shit too and we know how to turn the blind eye to cruelty when it's convenient for us to do so. Program the fear it. I had a vision, I was falling, an indecision, appalling, calling religious, a program on television happened. I don't like it, and the thing about China that really upsets me is the fact that their methods of slaughter is extremely brutal. At least in America we have some standards, and even people go over the standards, so it's not even excusable. Like, nobody really knows what goes on. Unless you're there to see it, you're never going to know yourself. They do it simply because they can, and simply because no one gives a shit about animals. Like, at least not in that those type of environments. Like, people are going to do what they want. So basically some interviewers or investigators went to the Chinese villages where I guess they were slaughtering the dogs. And one of the interviewers actually got some brilliant footage, so I want to share it with you guys. Here it is. People are very much aware of the bad name that they're getting for eating dog, but they're very defensive and uh, quite hostile towards us. On the other hand, they say that it's their right to eat dog. <laughs> Don't you eat beef, asks this man. If you stop eating beef, we'll stop eating dog. So basically what this guy did is he is turning the tables on people who eat other animals. And he's basically saying, well, I'll stop eating dogs when you guys stop eating beef. And I think it's really awesome that he said that because a lot of people don't really think about it that way. And I really love the fact that this one meat eater is making other meat eaters accountable for their actions and their own choices. So I thought that that was really awesome. Honestly, if you're a person that eats meat, I really do suggest that you question some of your food choices and ask yourself why don't you eat other animals outside of this small selective group of animals that we've been taught to eat. Because let's face it, most of what we consume are things that we've been taught to consume. And nobody really ever questions it. Maybe if you grew up in someone else's body, experience in a different life, maybe you'd be eating dog and wondering why other people eat pigs. So, that's just my video. I hope you guys have a great one. And till then, peace and love. Literally, peace and love. Spread that shit and have a good one. Don't you eat beef, asks this man. If you stop eating beef, we'll stop eating dog.